Hello YouTube, welcome back. This is a WPL update for metal upgrade modifications and helpful information. As for my last video, we did the seesaw modifications, which came out quite well. Came out pretty good. It does what it's supposed to do. The reason why I made them so thin was so I could have that flex. But there are more modifications to be made. So don't be expecting to get all your metal upgrades and all together and out outside to play. The screws that came with this, with the seesaw, they were actually too short. Too short. So don't use these screws that you get with the seesaw. Use the screws that come with your axles because they're longer. These screws here are basically one way that way and one way that way. Which sucked. So wait till you get all your upgrades. Because you will get extra screws. Another thing I like to talk about other modifications the servo mount plate. I had to cut a notch in there. I had to cut a notch in there to mount my on off switch. Which worked out quite well. I used my Dremel with a cut off wheel to notch it out. And then I used. made my own threads on the side there. Nice tool from Micro Mark. Let's see. The servo itself did not come with the screws for the mounting blocks to mount it to the servo. So that's where the extra screws came in from the seesaw. They do fit the mounting blocks. And I won't throw these away either because I can still use these. And put a, just put a nut on the end of them, if I have to. So I'll keep those cut off parts of the screw. And as we all know, the problem with your silver servo arm steering linkages are always too short. Not enough, always hitting your spring up here. So we did away with that. I made my own made my own out of a hanger worked that well with the help of another micro mark tool worked that well let's see I finally got this to show up today I like that I'm not done with these screws. I'm going to cut them down so they fit right. Make them shorter. Let's see here. Problem with the suspension too. Let's see. I did use other metal. The ones that were like the factory. But I didn't quite like them. It's as if I almost still have to add shocks to be able to use them because they just sagged. This is the other spring set which I ended up taking that swivel part off because it's like they just sat there you know. I had to literally lift it back up so like either way I go I have to add shocks to it to push them back down. We'll get that figured out later. I do got the winch. For some reason it doesn't work quite well with that. It moves one way and it does not reverse like it is supposed to with that. So there's another wire out there that actually says reversing for the winch. I'll buy that later. Let's see. 
I think that's about it for now. Still got some bugs to work out. Another note I like to make on my dually wheels. Too wide. So I cut these down so they would fit right. But I need to get me some black gasket sealer. Don't try to use your order. It came out quite well. Just don't use super glue. So get some black gasket sealer, which I'm going to do later. And I'll get them done and get them on here. So this is my update for your full metal upgrades. And once again, don't expect to throw them all together. Another thing I need to do. I almost forgot. The hub, they got threads in them, but they make it so difficult. I literally had to turn the screws around the wrong way, which should be the nut side sticking out like this with the nuts. So the only way to fix that problem is to just take the hub out and drill out the threads. Drill the threads out from the hub so I can turn my screws around with the nut side nut showing instead of the screw head it looks like what is WPL thinking or RBR see I mean geez you got to do a lot of modifications to make things right But that's all I have for now on the update to the full metal jacket here. I'll get the, all this done and get it all right. May end up doing another upgrade to the... To the remote. I'd really like to have a 6 channel. For all my other extras and extra lights and all that when I ever get to that point. So, there you go. A lot of modifications to your metal upgrades. And I'm getting there. Thanks for watching.